What's good, you two? Let's get this money. I already know we getting money and we eating honey. I ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get straight to it. Y'all see the title of the video. We talking about Neo and Tesla stock. Now, before I do these technical analysis on these stocks, I want to show y'all some. This guru focus. Now, this is the overview of the top, the top companies in each sector. And when you go to this sector right here, consumer syndical, y'all see vehicles and parts is 16.8% of this. So they own a nice little part of it. So we go go to this and we go go to vehicle and ports. And these are the top companies in this industry. As y'all can see, Tesla, they running it. She's a runner, she's a track star. They own 52.9%. Like they they running it, man. Y'all see what's going on. Then y'all see Neo right here. They in third place right here, just behind G GM, General Motors. So hey. That's just a good sign for both of these companies. That's just that should just let y'all know right there that we going towards electric vehicles and it's just, it's only gonna grow over time. And y'all see Lee Auto right here too, another EV company and GM. They working on electric vehicles too. Like all these companies gotta make this switch. They gotta make this shift to EVs because that's gonna be the future. Let's get straight to these charts. Now Neo right here, y'all see we got the support at thirty five. We got the 52 week high right here at 60 69.99 all right so let's do the prediction y'all see we hit a we hit the bottom right here around march 26 around that time we hit the bottom and hey if y'all got this bottom right here around 35 dollars that's a good buying zone that's a good buying zone for real anything under 35 dollars that's a good deal on this stock especially for people that Plan on holding this stock for a long term, as you should, because it's it's just getting started. I could see Neo hitting a hundred dollars in five years, if not more. That's just that's the minimum. That's the minimum. My project my projection on Neo is a hundred dollars in five years. Shoot, I could I wouldn't be surprised if it's at two hundred in five years. But we go do the short term prediction on this. What I think is go do. And I feel like. April usually a good a good month for the market. Y'all know we just got out of bad month in the market. March March usually a bad month in the market, but we in April now. Springtime is like the uh, market move with the weather. All right, so I'm gonna do my prediction for next week. I feel like next week we went up about almost two percent last week on Friday. On Thursday market was closed Friday, so I feel like pre market. We gonna have a slight sell off around thirty seven dollars, thirty eight dollars, something like that, early in the day, and then we go rally towards the middle and the end of the day, and end the day around forty one dollars, something like that. That's my prediction. How it's gonna be on on Monday and throughout the week. We just go trade sideways, slight uptrend, something like that, slight uptrend. Might end the week around forty three, forty four dollars, something like that, but. On the by the end of April, by the end of April, I see this stock around forty six, forty six to forty nine dollars, something around there. It's go, it's go end up. Let's see, we go around May. Yeah, we go be, we go be somewhere around this area right here. By the by the end of this month, that's my prediction on Neo. Now let's go to Tesla. Tesla, as y'all see, I got two supports right here. Now this support right here at 560, we hit that when it was a major correction. You know, we had a major correction in March, but I don't think that's the support no more because right here we bounced off right here and I feel like we building a new support right here at 620, somewhere right there. So y'all be watching this stock. It, sh it might sell off some more. Neo go move with Tesla. They these stocks move together, like not all the time, but typically if Tesla is green, and up like eight percent to ten percent, Neo go probably be up like six to seven percent, something like that. Like they move together. If you want to just compare them, look, look at this downtrend right here we had from early March to late March, and then go to Neo. Y'all see the same type of movement. Like they almost got identical movements. That's a that's the thing you got to take note of when you looking at these stocks. I right, hit that like button for me real quick, y'all. If I ain't hit that like button yet. But yeah, that's what y'all gotta see with these stocks. Like, I noticed some too. I got JP Morgan in my account. And when tech stocks do bad, 
the banking sectors usually do good. And when the banking sectors do bad, then the tech sectors usually do good. Like it's correlations between certain sectors. So just keep that in mind. I just wanted to throw that out there. No, that ain't have nothing to do with the video, but you gotta you gotta keep you gotta see that. And that's why it's important to be diversified. That's why it's important to have different stocks in different sectors because that way if the tech sector down, you ain't all in on tech. You don't got all tech stocks. You wanna have some EV stocks, maybe you want might wanna have some retail stocks some banking stocks and real estate stocks whatever type stocks you want just diversify and make sure you believe in that stock but yeah so for tesla for like tesla go do the same thing i said with neo sell off early in the day early in the day and then rally towards the middle and the end of the day something like that and then towards the end of the week we go end the week around around six around 690 700 something like that by the end of the week and then y'all already know going into may might have a slight sell out it, it all and another thing it depend on with these companies they they might not move together because they got their earnings coming up and if tesla or neo one of them companies they don't meet the requirements that the investors thought that they would they don't sell as many vehicles as people thought that they would might see a, a dip in the share price so if if them factors besides them factors if they, they sell a lot of vehicles and they they keep up the poor with with the expectations then that's my prediction so yeah by the end of the summer around july august late july august i could see tesla being around 800 probably nah that's that's too that's too cheap that's too cheap. Nah, I could see Tesla really being around 900. Like, fighting towards to get to this resistance for real by the end of the summer. And it ain't gonna be this straight movement. Y'all know Tesla. Y'all see how it do. It, it be big dips. But y'all see when it run up, it run up. She's a runner, she's a track star. Compare this run up to the dip. Where was that? 400 to 900. That's over a thousand. That's over a hundred percent compared to the dip from 900 to only 560 see it dip it dip way less than it went up so that should just show y'all and that's the start the stock market in general like it fall less than it go up like so yeah just keep that in mind but yeah be expected tesla to come back to this range 900 i can see tesla being back at this at this price at, in the, at the end of the summer around July, late July, August. But yeah, that's my prediction on these two stocks. Comment what y'all want next. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that. I'm gone.